the double seal insert, you want to get a uh, 20 mil thick that way. Piece of perspex, cut to a circle to the same outside diameter of the pipe, same as you did with the front end for where, where you look through. And then you also want a taper or to be rounded. Oh, and it to be round only slightly so when you insert it into the pipe as my hand for example you insert it into the pipe you don't have to have it exactly straight when you pull, push it in or pull it out because if, if, if you have a snug fit and it kinks slightly in the pipe like so it'll, it will jam if it's a perfect fit. If it, you've got it slightly rounded, just slightly, you can still go slightly, move it slightly, and still be able to get it out. Because I have found I have had a lot of trouble of it getting, every time I pull it out, I pull it out crooked and would jam because it's not rounded enough. Just on, around this, around, around there. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> um, once you've done that, you want to take it to your local machinist shop or um, what do you call them? Engineer and get him to cut two O ring O ring slots to preferably a little bit further apart than what I have done on mine. Make sure when you take it to him, you take him the O-rings and the, and the bit that it's going into so he can machine it correctly. So it's a nice, perfect, snug fit. Once you've done that, you get two knobs, get him to fit it, or find whatever, and get him to fit them there, just there. So when I screw the end cap on, it holds it in flush. It just so happens they have the right depth to push in and hold it in on the end so it will not twist, twist or kink um, also makes it a lot more easier to get my hands in the pipe and pull it out like that um, you can use a different handle or if you want you can just use another bit of perspex and glue it and make it up just so it pushes in flash when you screw the, end first, the other bit on um, Make sure it's not too much long, otherwise when you screw the end cap on, the seal and the end cap won't seal, and then you'll be just relying on these two. So, with the three seals, you'll have no problem ever with water getting in and destroying your camera. Okay, these um, downpipe bits I use for a handle, I'll go downstairs and show you actually where it they are actually used, this bit, this sandal bit, where they are used so you can actually get an idea of what they are if you've never seen one of them before. They are actually a plastic version of the metal type, so they're good because they are plastic because they don't rust, um, they bend, which is both pluses, I guess. Um, same with the, the, the stainless steel pipe clamp. Make sure it's stainless, it won't rust then. Unfortunately on my house from the gutters, they go from the square type to the round type. The clamp, my square bit is actually this clamp here. The clamp's the down pipe to the wall. Um, it was the square type like it starts out, that's the bit, the clamp that goes around there. That's what I'm using, a plastic version of them for the handles. If you want to have another look at my camera housing, as you can see, that's the end cap. That's the end cap. That's where I've cut out the hole. And the end cap. Here's the other end cap, the screw type fitting one. The screw bit and the o-ring in there. You can see that's where you put the tape. 
around on the inside there so when you glue it there push it against that little stop the glue doesn't get on that on that surface so when you just put your double seal insert in there like so it will still seal because you don't want anything on that surface when you're um, actually going to put it into use make sure you use some silicon grease or if you can't get silicon grease use some uh, Vaseline and apply to all the seal areas which means doing that, applying to this surface to your o-rings and into your o-ring grooves. Don't have to get, get excessive with it, just a nice little smear. Then you can apply the o-rings, turn your camera on, hit record, insert your camera, insert the double seal. Also, for that o-ring there and the little outside where it seals there, a bit of grease and then you can screw it on and then where you go, you can go diving. Okay. For the handles, that is them downpipe handles. Squish. Squished in there. Little slits in the bottom there. For where I put the stainless steel uh, pipe clamp and tighten, and that's that's hold it down and that's my two handles one each side so hopefully from, you'll be able to see what I've done there and then down quite bits to make my handle and it works quite quite sufficient when diving um, also you'll probably find that the housing is positive buoyant which means it'll try and float to the surface um, what I do is I with my little bit of rope where I strap it onto myself so I don't lose it. I have a little extra bit. I tie a one kilo weight onto it to the bottom and it just hangs underneath and that helps it keep it pretty close to neutral buoyant. You might have to play with um, your weight to get it to be closer to neutral buoyant. And the last bit! I sound so enthusiastic don't I mum? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I've had a couple of questions. People are asking me how do I control my camera. I don't actually control my camera. Um, I built this housing so I could take it diving with me and like the maximum amount of dive time roughly is probably an hour that you can have under the water. Um, Saying that, my battery lasts an hour, my tape lasts an hour, so I do not have to start and stop it all the time. By putting a switch or wires through the housing or some type of mechanical device um, will increase the chance of a leak. Um, by not controlling it, you will not have that problem of it leaking through the where you've glued the wires through or or you put a mechanical setup. Um, if you really wanted to, you could do that, or use some type of ma magnetic reed switch on the inside and use the magnet on the outside to just put go near it, switch it on and off if you want if you wanted to. But um, it records long enough for my dive, and that's all I need. Um, I can do editing once I put it on my computer and edit, edit it down to how I want. Um, it's best to have your zoom right back because um, I cannot fit a wide angle lens in my housing because it's too big it's bigger <laughs> it's not uh, blah, 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 now I'm talking shit um, I cannot fit a wide angle lens in my housing because it is too big um, it will not fit with it on there so I do not use a wide angle lens but I do use a uh, filter um, you want, I suggest you use a filter because once you go down one half meters you'll start to lose your reds and the color starts becoming gray. Um, if it's a dark dive or it's dark day uh, don't use a filter because everything will start turning red. Um, best to use fil uh, fil uh, 
a filter when you uh, got a bright day to use it. Uh, 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 lots of R's. Um, I I took this actually this has housing over to Thailand when I went over there recently for a month, um, and used it on all my dives, and I took it down to thirty meters with no problem. I did, however, have a slight leak through the first seal in this screw cap. Um, only a little bit of water, probably a couple of capfuls of water got through. Um, but because of the double seal, um, I had no problem with it getting through that double seal because I don't think anything should get through that if it's made right and it's a perfect fit and it seals well. Um, that's why I made it because I knew there could be a chance of that first seal failing because you're kind of risking a whole lot on that one seal. Hopefully I have covered everything for everyone um, out there. Um, if you have any more questions, um, just comment to the video. Hopefully someone will be able to help you um, or I'll be able to help you with a reply of somehow and explain it a bit more, but hopefully I've covered it in detail enough for everyone. Um, if you do make my housing, please um, make a video about it and show us your result or your version of it and happy housing ma making.